this oxtail stew recipe is full of the bone, it's tender and is full of amazing flavors. <music> hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how to make this flavorful and full of the bone oxtail recipe or the jamaican oxtail recipe it's very easy it takes hours to cook but trust me it's worth it because it's so so delicious so before we get started please take a minute to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that when i post my videos you're going to receive the alert to start off with this recipe, I'm going to be washing my oxtails with some lime. You can use lemon if you want to. I just like washing it with this lime because it's stronger and it takes away all that smell from it. So after the first wash, I'm just going to throw the water away, then rinse again one more time, then set aside. For the rest of the ingredients right here, we have some beef nut seasoning. You can use Maggi cubes or Brion cubes. We have some dry thyme, brown sugar, scotch bonnets, allspice powder, black pepper powder. Right here we have some Worcestershire sauce. You can skip this part if you don't have it. I'll be using some red wine too. Check the description box. I'm going to drop all the ingredients. Some green seasoning. Salt. Ketchup. And tomato paste. While for the fresh ingredients, we have some green bell pepper, red bell pepper, onion, garlic, ginger, and green onion. So let us start to marinate the beef with the red wine, Worcestershire sauce, the salt, the beef no seasoning with the black pepper. I'm going to repeat the same process for the green onion, the onion, the garlic, but for the ginger, I'm just going to grate it. Add some cooking oil inside a hot pot, then melt the brown sugar until it caramelizes.
Once the sugar melts perfectly, you can now add in the oxtail, let the pan grill for about 5 minutes each side. While it's pan grilling, make sure the caramel from the brown sugar rubs on the beef. After about 5 minutes, you can now flip the sides. So guys, now I'm going to add in the onion and stir perfectly until it has been perfectly combined. Then I'm going to bring in the rest of the ingredients. Let me just pour in this remaining marinade from the beef in there so everything should cook. Right now I'm going to bring in the tomato paste, the garlic, ginger the green seasoning the dry thyme the all spice tomato ketchup mix everything together after you've mixed them then bring in the bell peppers for the green onion and the scotch bonnet you're gonna save it for later Add about 5 cups of water, then cover the pot and bring the beef to a boil. Boil until the beef is tender while it's boiling. Keep adding water as needed. So right now the pot has been cooking for about 20 minutes but it's not yet tender, the beef is not really tender. I'm just going to add in the green onion, the scotch bonnet and more water and let it boil until the beef is tender. Guys, if you want to enjoy this meal, the meat is supposed to be a fall off bone. I will just add some carrots in there. If you have some butter beans, you can use it or if you don't want to, you can skip this part. After adding the carrots, I'll add more water and let the beef boil again. So I just added some water in there. I'm just going to cover the pot and let it cook again. The pot cooked for about 40 to 50 minutes and trust me, I was just adding water as needed. Now the beef is so so tender, it's ready to serve. If you have some rice and peas, this goes with it. If you have some fried plantains, it goes with it. Anything you want to use as a side, but today I'm going to be using this to enjoy with some fried rice. So right now we've come to the end of this recipe. I hope you will get to try this. So we'll meet again in my next video. Thank you so much for your support. Bye for now.